And the opening tip will go to the San Antonio Spurs. And there's Wieskamp, who's in the lineup for Primo, who started the last time out for San Antonio. Renfro to the bucket, can't get it to go, and on the putback. Vassell gets it using that long reach, puts it up to beat the shot clock, almost gets it to go, but flying in on the back end, Nate Renfro. Hello. The attack with that putback. Woo. And Nepal for three. Nice looking stroke there. Bulls with the 6-4 advantage. Great play in the passing lanes. And on the other end, it's the Paul going up. Left hand finish is strong. Getting out in transition. Really good sign to see for the goal. And the Paul at it again. Gets his hands on that one. Vassell with the mid-range cash game. We're not very good at shooting the three last season. But DeMar DeRozan, who was the king of the mid-range, that, that was not a focal point for them. And, and that's their first make. Get yeah. right on cue. A lot of that is because, remember, early defensively, they were creating turnovers and getting out in the open floor. And looks like San Antonio settled down a little bit now. And if they start making shots, it gives them a chance to keep the Bulls. More of the young guys are seeing the floor. He added that the organization is really excited, though, about their draft selections over the last couple of years. And that starts with guys like Kelvin Johnson. Yeah, it's really interesting, too, for uh, DeMar DeRozan as kind of being that person that you go, okay, yes, they are in complete young rebuilding mode. And, and, and the beauty of it is they're really polar opposites as players, right? Because Markkinen is much more of a perimeter-oriented player in terms of shooting. Bulls, one for their last 13 now. San Antonio Spurs on a 14-2 run. Hey! Extending that to 16 to 2. Malik Newman finishing. Another turnover. Spurs are running again. Up that count. 18 to 2 run. Newman back to back buckets. 16 points, exactly how many they scored on that run as well, Jay. Like you said, that second unit came in and really provided a spark. And Newman continuing right where he left off in the first quarter, getting the first bucket of the second quarter. Like I say, one of the more likable young men we have here at the Summer League. Yeah, played just 37 games, oh. averages two points per game as the Bulls get on the board inside and a little bit of testiness. Uh, it's definitely starting to set in, you know. Um, I mean, it's big, you know, it's a great accomplishment. I'm definitely uh, honored and blessed to be able to compete uh, for the United States of America. And, and that's been about the only thing impressive thus far here for Chicago is they're trying to figure out a way to get back in this game. Nice drive and attack. Making sure that they get good looks in the half court. Trey Jones with eight points now. We were saying how he appeared in 37 games during the regular season. To not only work on his game, but then to try to implement that in real games in terms of really looking to score and boy that's a welcome sight for Chicago Pat Williams knocking down and you got three guys like Levine, Vucevic and, and obviously DeMar DeRozan you're not going to lack for offense. LeBissier gets it to drop. A lot of things play a role in whether or not a player ultimately gets to that ceiling and so I think Billy Donovan in that front office finished there. 16-point deficit for the Chicago Bulls, San Antonio Spurs. Looking to get some offense going. Trey Jones in the corner to the hot hand, and it remains hot. And the foul on the screen and roll. Yeah, more and more often than not, the, the problem with that is the guy who has the ball just going a little too soon, and just a nice, strong move by Trey Jones. Trey Jones. Excellent defense by Morris. Shot clock winding down. And the jumper is good. And one. For a very long time, if they can prove themselves to be worthy. Adams, short, but on the putback. One of the bright spots for the Chicago Bulls. They were getting deflections. They were getting out in the, half, uh, in the open court, getting some easy baskets, and then I thought their intensity dropped a little bit, and then they started to really struggle. And I'll tell you what. Yeah, as you pointed out, uh, Vassell not on the court to start this second half. And Morris, six for seven from the field. Pat Will, mid-range, knocks it down. Had his struggles here early in 
Summer League didn't shoot it well the first game, and in that first half also had his struggles. But see there, this is what we saw from Chicago earlier in that game. I.O. with the steal and then rewarded yeah, on the other end. Getting out of transition. And instead, playing excellent basketball, Trey Jones at the point guard position gets another bucket. He's up to 12. Williams for three. Knocks it down. Back-to-back oh, -back buckets in here. We might have a ball game, G.H. Wieskamp on the break. Nowhere to go with it. And it's I.O. and the Bulls have numbers. Simonovic playing above the rim. And we have a single-digit deficit. 7-0 Bulls run. He's not going to have an opportunity to be out here, but it does create an opportunity for some other guys. Trey Jones off the glass. And he continues to have a sensational game. 12 points for Trey Jones. For the former Kansas Jayhawk. Average 13 points per game in the G League bubble. And Jones back to back buckets for the Spurs. No rim protection for Chicago. Williams with some space. Looked very comfortable and in rhythm on that shot. Six point deficit now by the Bulls. 21 points for Williams. He's stay on defense with Jeffries with a nice yeah. strong finish. Newman, soft. Right. Morris, the kick out. It's just a bit short, and now the Bulls have numbers. If they can get behind the defense, it's I.O. Newman cutting back door, but a C full of Bulls, and I.O. on the break, looking to score yet again, and I.O. so dangerous in transition. We said it before. Thompson. Thompson can shoot and he can score. He can go get a bucket. There's no doubt about that. And this has been really a completely different game this third quarter. Those seven turnovers. It's not just the seven turnovers either. It's also and staying loaded on the basketball. Boy, Trey they Jones. Getting after it, aren't yes. they? The defense has been intense here in the third for Chicago and Pat Will inside. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pats off, but inside it's the finish by Tyler Bay. Wies Camp, second round pick by the Spurs this year, is rejected on the other end. It's Pat Williams getting all the way to the bucket. No, Bay, yes. But that's what they're forcing right now out of San Antonio. And boy, do they get out in transition, the Bulls. Ooh. And there's Morris with a response. Williams open for three. He'll take that. He'll make that. Boy, it has been on display here this evening. Weiss Camp in trouble. San Antonio finally gets a bucket from Turner. But it's going to start with you doing a better job on your execution offensively. Adams continues the red hot shooting bullseye. Ramp up your intensity defensively. Adams, eight points in the fourth quarter so far. And on the other end, it's the hottest player on the Spurs, Morris. Morris to the bucket. And he's stripped by Adams. Adams with numbers again. I.O. Yes, sir. Jones to the hole. Bit short. The tip in on the board, Jones. Talking to the ref, looking for some contact. We got a five-point game with two and a half to go. I'm not going to push for one. Yeah, that's putting points on or taking points off the board. Williams in the post. Mid-range is good. Luis Camp to Newman. Newman pulls the trigger. Bottoms. Williams looking for it on the post. He faced up the last time around, got it to drop. This time, takes it baseline, back-to-back -back clutch buckets. And this is where you got to have discipline defensively and know the personnel. Dotson to Pat Williams, and that's your proverbial dagger. And that'll do it. The Bulls come back from being down by 22 to win 92 to 89.